Covid Zers M777, Bradley, Barrett, and the iconic Black Hawk. These and many other military rituals and weapons are used by Ukrainian defenders today, and all of them are Western made. However, the origin and purpose of killing enemies is not the only thing that all these weapons have in common. There is something more – the unique metal titanium. Light, strong and durable. It's an armor that can be prized by bullets of even the largest caliber. It is a versatility, reliable and adaptable metal, and often an indispensable structural metal that is critical in today's world. I would even say that in our reality, titanium is a critically important metal. And I, Margarita Rivchichenko, the host of this channel about titanium in Ukraine and the world, is absolutely convinced that it is the metal of our victory. So today I will show you in detail where, how and why titanium is used in defense. I'll begin with one of the world's most heavily armored infancy rituals. The Bradley. They are operating at full capacity on the front line during the counter-offensive operation, playing a critical role in Ukrainian's liberation and saving the lives of hundreds of soldiers. And in these shots, Bradley continues to perform a combat mission. Just imagine after a direct hit from the enemy tank T-72. The M2A2 ODSSA armored personal carries, supplied by Ukrainian allies, represents an advanced, improved version, also thanks to use of titanium. This material that designers utilized for crafting the common hatch and additional roof armor plates. And I want to add something about Bradley's designers. It was developed by British multinational corporation BA Systems. This is one of the world's most powerful defense gigant, which also produced M777, Challenger and Storm Shadow missiles and much more using titanium. And most importantly, BAE system will open an office in Ukraine, which is a further launch of repair and production facilities. These repair and production facilities will require titanium. Let me remind you that Ukraine possesses several percent of the world's titanium raw materials. Moreover, Ukraine is one of few countries that has unique facilities to produce titanium sponge, the Porishi titanium and magnesium plant. Moreover, thanks to Welta's innovators, Ukrainians have a scientific break thought, a revolutionary new method of production titanium metal, a method and prospects that are not available anywhere else. A meeting with representatives of the British defense company BAE Systems. Localization of production in Ukraine was discussed. We agreed to start work with the opening of the BAE Systems office in Ukraine and later the repair production facilities of the company's products. We are ready to become a major regional hub for the repair and production of various types of BAE Systems products and we are interested in a more global relationship than what we have now. British guns made from BAE Systems used titanium, in particular in the legendary M777. These weapons are developed by the British at the request of the US Army to replace the M198 heavy howitzers. Thanks to the innovative titanium solution that designers managed to trim over 3 tons of weight from the gun compared to the M198. 
This led to a reduction in deployment time, improved the gun's maneuverability, and critically, downsized the holder screw from 9 to 5 individuals, a significant advantage in the war. What's the secret? It's in a unique titanium alloy it used that allowed BA systems to achieve the goals set by the US Department of Defense. 155 mm became the best X in the class in Ukrainian enemies fully experienced it. Russian troops probably burned more only because of NATO's uranium tanks. Do you know the story, right? How Russians are afraid and uh, angry that Ukraine will receive American Abrams with armor made of deflet uranium. In fact, the United States hardly exports uranium armor, but does export titanium armor. The Americans began installing the plate uranium armor on their M1 Abrams in the late 18th as part of the secret Green Grade project. Declassified Pentagon documents of the time indicate that US Army's secret persons were under no circumstances to allow the secret armor to be exposed so that the enemy would not learn the secret of its manufacturing. Therefore, if the vessel was damaged in the battle, this secret person had to cover the damage with something so that nothing could be seen and accompany the vehicle to the place of repair. The Abrams armor was changed many times and finally the designers came to titanium. This metal, which is twice as light as steel and even stronger, was used to make the bodies for the Abrams uranium armor plate. The first one were delivered back in 1992 and are still in use today. By the way, Ukrainian defenders are completing their training with Abrams tanks at the NATO base in Germany, and these vessels, particularly titanium, are about to appear in Ukraine. Light 50, the legendary Barrett sniper reefer, chambered for the 12.7 mm 15 BMG machine gun cartridge. The sighting range is 1,800 meters and the maximum range is more than 2,000 meters. Barrett presents this modification, which quickly became legendary in 2011. The improvements include a weight reduction of almost 2.5 kg. Titanium made this possible. From titanium that the Light 50 was made with cylindrical muzzle brakes and a barrel with reduced recoil and the ability to install silencer. This rifle is used to kill enemies, in particular by the specialists of the defense intelligence of Ukraine. And it is our intelligence can bought of another particularly titanium miracle. In these photos, Ukrainian intelligence officers are seen next to the iconic Black Hawk helicopters. This is an American tactical multi-purpose helicopter that was used in operation worldwide and now operates in Ukraine. Titanium in the Black Hawk performs a critical task. It gives strength to the rotor blades, which are titanium core, making them resistant to fire from even anti-aircraft artillery up to 23 millimeters. In general, titanium in aviation is so important topic that it deserves separate covering. In the next issue of Titanium in Ukraine and Worldwide, I will tell the unique story of the Blackbird aircraft creation. I will also show you where titanium in F-22 aircraft and how much of it in latest F-35 and other aircraft. Please, 
Subscribe to this channel of the Ukrainian Titanium Industry Association. Like, share and comment on this video. If you understand that the topic of the titanium industry is becoming more and more interesting for you, we will make even more interesting stories. See you soon.